universe tells me when one door closes, another opens. The universe provides a seating area in the space between the one door closing and the other door opening so that if the other door doesn't open when the first door closes, I have a place to hang out. The universe also tells me, even though there's a place to sit between the one door opening and the other door closing, not to get too comfortable. The universe provides a simple bench, but not some super comfortable easy chair that I'm going to want to hang out in for hours. The universe also provides a book or two to read near the bench. You know, something by Deepak Chopra or Shakti Gawain or some shit. The universe also tells me there is abundance. The universe isn't very specific about this abundance, so it's a little unclear if it's an abundance of love, an abundance of money, or even an abundance of hate for that matter. The universe could provide an abundance of love to overpower the abundance of hate if it wanted to. I really doubt it would cook up an abundance of hate to overpower the abundance of love because that would be so not like the universe to fuck with abundance that way. The universe is abundant with an infinite, infinite supply of all kinds of shit it can cook up whenever. The universe could send a guy down the stairs with a huge bag of money for everybody right now. But that's not the universe's style. The universe is not Oprah. A long time ago when I was having a hard time in fourth grade, the universe told me that Alina Goldblatt had a crush on me. That really helped because fourth grade sucked in a lot of ways, but was made better because I knew she had a crush on me that year, even though we never really did anything. It was just kind of cool. Alina Goldblatt is now Alina Masterson and lives in Grand Rapids, Michigan, has two kids and is married to Peter Masterson, who is a mortgage broker. She runs a pottery studio where she teaches classes year-round. The universe didn't tell me that. I learned that on Facebook. <laughs> the universe wants me to be happy. The universe really does want me to be happy. I am not happy. And I'm kind of pissed at the universe because it wants me to be happy and I'm not happy. I'm actually pretty fucking depressed lately and I don't give a shit what the fucking universe wants. It's not doing me a damn bit of good. In fact, I'm even more pissed because the universe, some ethereal, all-encompassing entity which comprises everything that ever was and ever will be, that this thing is all like, I want you to be happy and I'm not. And I'm like, thanks a fucking lot, you asshole fucking universe. Now I feel even worse because I don't feel the way the entire fucking universe wants me to feel. So I think maybe the universe felt really sorry and is even a little sad. Maybe the universe sent out some bad vibes. And this very well may be why we have a stupid fucking idiot for a president and things in general are so fucking shitty all over the goddamn fucking world. So maybe the universe really wants me to feel better, feel better about myself so that maybe in the coming midterm elections there's a surge of Democrats who will come in and impeach this fucking moron and maybe the universe can set things straight again. I mean, I hope so, but the universe is huge and has a lot of stuff going on. Like, hey, you know, maybe uh, there's a massive crisis 40 million light years away from me and my miserable fucking depression. Something that is so not about abundance, but is in fact a veritable black hole. Consuming everything in uh, millions of miles around, covering uh, stars and planets, and light and energy itself cannot escape. So the universe really has its hands full with all that pile of shit. I can't imagine how the universe handles all this shit. It's, uh, that's the universe's job. That's what it does. But somehow in the middle of all this shit, the universe is providing benches and hallways and books to read in abundance and telling me everything's going to be just fine. It's fine. No matter how screwed up things are, it's just going to be fine. Well, all right then. If that's the case, then I don't think the universe would mind me telling you that it sent me here tonight to be with you at Silver Tongue Devils down here at Three of Cups with Phil and Cal and all the rest of you. The universe sends its love and wishes you all the very best tonight. <laughs>